Major John Madden approaching the underpass, the tunnel that goes under the Autopista, which is a super highway in the eastern part of Mexico here. I said in a video the other day that there seems to be a morphogenic field here that gets me to record videos because I have shot a lot of videos either under this bridge or I start them when I come out one of the other sides. I go under this bridge every day for about two weeks now. Oh, I hear the echo in here. For about two weeks now, I've been in uh, El Diamante, Mexico for over two months with my car broken down. But for the last roughly two weeks, I've been taking my favorite street dogs for walks out here and, and taking me. It's a long tradition in my life. I go for long walks always. That's good for me. And I know that. I know that. Why do I know that? Because I just know that. It's my experience. It's my direct experience. So the topic I want to cover today is from where do we get our knowledge, especially our spiritual guidance? Do we get it from some... Uh, church, some religion, some fantasy notion of what God is, usually wildly erroneous. Most Christian churches have a really immature definition of spirituality that they get their guidance from a very old book that they interpret literally, or some preacher who usually has very little spiritual insight. And they walk around thinking that God is a guy, is a person of some kind, usually a guy, and it feels sacrosanct. Boy, you challenge that to those Christians. You say, no, I don't think God is a guy. Whatever God is, it is not a guy. They go insane. In my life, I've had a lot of experience with the Catholic Church growing up. Catholic seminary for five years in my youth. And uh, my ex, is still a devout Catholic. She's a, a radical Catholic who pushes back at a lot of the things the Catholic Church teaches. But she still, she defines herself by a parent, a church, a Catholic Church, that subjugates people and tells them what to think. Some guy in Rome is supposedly uh, infallible. Now, Catholic Church is kind of lucky right now because they have, I guess his name is Benedict, 